Well, my friends, I feel like this video is long overdue. <laughs> I am so excited to be sharing with you a full home tour for our pole barn home that we have built ourselves from the ground up. I'm so thrilled to be able to share each and every space that we've finished with you. And if you've been with us for very long, you know that when we first moved in, it was completely unfinished. And you can go back and watch my video of our move-in tour, and you're going to see a drastic change from what it is today. We have spent over four years slowly finishing each and every space as time and money could afford. And it has been a true labor of love, but one that has definitely been worth every minute of it. I think one of the reasons I um, put off this full home tour was because I was waiting on perfection, but I decided to throw perfection out the window. <laughs> we got this house clean, as clean as it gets on a Saturday from top to bottom, and I decided this is it. I needed to bust out the camera and record each space for you and share it with you. So it's not gonna be perfectly staged like you might see in um, like a room reveal, which I have done for every space in this home. So if you wanna go back and get really detailed on each room, definitely look through the archives on my channel and on my blog to see each and every detail of every space. But this one is more of just a comprehensive look at our whole home and how it flows together and how the design details work together. So I hope that's enjoyable for you. So I guess what I'm saying is don't expect a perfectly staged home or a perfectly professional video here, but I really wanted to give you a good idea of how it all came together and what it kind of looks like in real life for us. I am also sharing a blog post today with this video. So if you wanna take a photo tour and get really wide angle shots of each space, I have provided that for you over on my blog, tidbitsandcompany.com. But I just wanna thank you so much for being here with me today. And I am so thrilled to be sharing with you our completed pole barn home tour. Now, before I take you guys inside, it's worth looking at where this all started. Now I get asked a lot, what is a pole barn home? Basically, it's a slab on grade home, so we're on a concrete slab, and the poles are embedded into the ground through concrete instead of a traditional home build that would use like footings and whatnot. So you put the poles as the exterior structure and then build the framing within those poles. I'm sure Mr. Tidbits could do a much better job at explaining this, you guys, but this is where it all started, and I literally cannot believe how young the kids were. I just, time just goes so fast. But anyway, the whole process, I haven't yet documented, but this is a really good look at where it all started and how the structure comes together when you build a pole barn home. And my husband, he did this virtually by himself. So we designed it, got the plans engineered, and he had some friends help him and brothers help him with framing and trusses and everything. But then once that was all put together, the inside was basically put together like a traditional home. But anyway, here it is finished. And there are so many little details that through the years we've had to work on. And the exterior is something I often get asked about as well. So what makes this not look like a barn is basically the tin siding that we used. So it's tin siding and roofing, and they make so many cool varieties these days. So we picked like a board and bat and tin siding, which makes it look less like a barn. <laughs> and I believe we picked that out from a company called Teton Still. It's one of the um, more local companies to us, even though uh, we had to drive quite a ways to get there. But we're still in the dead of winter here, so I'm sorry you get to see a lot of snow instead of green and beautiful, but um, I definitely wanted to get this finished and shared with you. So this is the back patio. This is a project we want to work on this spring. Here are the saunas that my husband's been building. But we finished this retaining wall, and I'm really excited to to put some outdoor dining out there and make it a lot more cozy in the coming warmer months. Let me take you now into the kitchen, the heart of the home, right? And I just wanna say, our home, the shape is really simple. It is a very open concept. It is a rectangle with a hallway and bedrooms. It is very simple, but I really wanted to infuse a lot of detail with the interior to make it not just feel like a rectangle. So I did a lot of things like adding different textures and materials 
a lot of windows to bring in a whole lot of light which just streams through this kitchen it is just the most cheery space in the home because there's so much light and i've of course was always tried to be inspired by this european farmhouse decor aesthetic that i really like and so hopefully you can kind of see that throughout the house flow together since that's been been my focus as i just worked on all the design details but this is a eat-in kitchen this is a concept that was more popular long ago where there weren't really islands or bars but rather there was the kitchen and you put the dining table right in the kitchen and i have to tell you it is the most convenient thing in the world <laughs> to just be able to put your food right there and serve it and clean it up so easily we've really quite enjoyed it so um I highly recommend this Eden Kitchen vibe if you have enough countertop space in the other spots of the kitchen. But all these cabinets were from Ikea. We kind of custom designed them to fit this space. That's a refrigerator that's hidden behind a panel-ready fridge, so it just looks like the cabinetry. The dishwasher and the garbage drawer are the same, so I just wanted something that looked really seamless in this U-shaped kitchen. And I have to remind you guys, I have done um, room reveals for every space that I'm showing you here. So if you see details that you want to slow down and get more of, please go back into my video archives and my blog archives and um, go to each space as I showed you the finished reveal. Because in that kind of video, I'm able to talk you through way more of the details so that you can slow down and really enjoy it. But I wanted to just give you an overall view of our home at this time. Now let's move into the pantry, which is just an extension off of our kitchen. My absolute favorite space in the home, I think. I just love how the design came together and it is so useful with so much food storage, you know, out to be seen and to be beautiful, but also tucked away where it's not always so beautiful, but there's just, room for everything on these countertops and I didn't want anything too tidy in here. I knew the pantry countertops were gonna be heavily used so that we didn't have to fill our kitchen countertops with all the things. So this space is just so functional and so beautiful at the same time. I've put all our appliances out here in the pantry so that they don't have to be in the kitchen. It's so nice to be able to use them in here and just keep them plugged in all the time. Um, and to store foods and ferments and sourdoughs. And anyway, it's just one of my favorite spaces. I love the rock accent wall that we did. If you notice, it's the same rock that you saw on our retaining wall outside. Love it. Tons of details about that um, on the channel and the blog. And then of course I made all of these um, cabinet curtains, which I did a tutorial for you as well. So love this pantry space and I hope you enjoy getting another look at it here on this full home tour. Let's take a look at the living room. This is just joined right next to the kitchen, as you can see, and it's just a busy space. The living room kitchen, it just feels like the main hub of the home where we're always at, so it's really fun. Now this living room has undergone a few changes as we've been here. I've tried different mantles and we finally had my husband build this like faux cast stone mantle, which I just love. And I guess here's a little tip for you. It's actually quite challenging to work with um, big open floor plans, I feel. It's hard to be able to give them each their own unique and feel, but my suggestion is to just make zones and enclose things as much as you can with rugs and furniture placement. And just even though it's open, it's this big rectangle, the furniture placement was really important for me to create that cozy living room vibe and make it feel like it's not just all one big open barn, basically. But that's how we did it. I just was very mindful of the furniture I picked out and the zones that I was creating in this big open floor plan. And again, lots of details that I've done in the past about the couches and the rugs and what we think of these six penny furniture that I bought, if you wanna go back and learn more about those. But um, it's just been a labor of love. And rather than building a whole ton of built-ins for the space, like you might see in homes nowadays, I always opt for antique furniture and unique finds. It makes the home feel more curated. And this was especially important for like a new build. 
I really wanted it to feel more curated and something that feels like it, it had been put together throughout time rather than just a standard grade rectangle home. So bringing in antique furniture and unique pieces, interesting decor was definitely always something that I thought about, searched for, and was very mindful of. But we love this living room space. This is where we crashed for movie nights and um, get the kids ready for bed with scripture time and all sorts of great family memories here in this little living room. Something else that I get asked about a lot is our flooring. So I thought I'd mention that here a little bit. So the main flooring of the home is this wide plank, white oak engineered hardwood flooring. It is so beautiful. And the best thing about it is that it like hides dirt <laughs> so well. The color tone is just perfect. And it's just, it's easy to clean, it's easy to take care of, it doesn't look dirty, doesn't really have like footprints all around it. So I, I highly recommend this flooring. We got it from Floor and Decor. I don't know if it's still there. They switch around their flooring a lot, but if you're looking for something like this, go to Floor and Decor and search Wide Plank Engineered Hardwood. And they have a lot of different tones and varieties. But we love the flooring but I did try to like mix it up by doing different floorings in the bathrooms and in the mud room, which we'll get a good look at. But um, this is something that I always get asked about and I cannot recommend this flooring enough. I think if I did any other home <laughs> makeover or anything, I would want the same stuff because it's so durable and beautiful and just perfect for this home. Okay, off the living room is our little school room. And it is one of our favorite spaces and it is rarely this clean, you guys, but we did tidy up a little bit <laughs> for you. But this is just a well-used space because these cabinets are full of our homeschool supplies, art supplies, books, and all the things we need to run our homeschool at home. This is a great storage space. Now, I have had different furniture in here before like um, a big round table that you saw in the room reveal of this space. And we later switched it out for like a little desk in the middle. Well, we switched it out again and decided to put um, the two bean bags that we had in my kids' room, we decided to put them in here. And it's so nice because now it's like this cozy library space where the kids just love to crash and read. And I find them in there all the time with a good book and it is just so cute. So we love this space so much and it works great for our family. I wanna take a minute and tell you guys about today's video sponsor, Hi C. They make incredible and adorable footwear, especially boots. And that is something we were in desperate need of for my entire family. So when Heisey reached out and they wanted to send me boots for everyone in our family, I felt like it was an email sent straight from heaven because it's something we desperately need. As you know, kids grow out of their shoes very quickly. And we are in a season right now where it's snowy, but also it gets warm and melts and we have a ton of mud. And so boots and working footwear for us is so incredibly important. I am going to leave a coupon code down in the description for you guys so that if you want to shop high C and get yourself some amazing protective and adorable footwear, you can do that with 15% off your purchase. Now, since these boots are a little new for us, I don't have a lot of experience, but I can tell you our first impressions. And I loved, in fact, I should have filmed it, but everyone's reaction as they put these boots on was so fun. They were just in love. I should have definitely recorded my husband's responses. He just felt like they were so comfortable right off the bat. They felt really good on his feet. And of course, having them be waterproof and easily sprayed off when they get dirty, which they certainly will, is such a bonus for our hardworking homestead life. I also really loved the color options they had. So because there's four of us girls in this household, I wanted to get us all the same style, but they had several colors to choose from. And I just picked the ones that I knew were our favorite colors and the kids really loved them. They have a great selection of kids' boots, which is what I got my youngest son. He needed some higher ones because he's the one that is most likely to be um, playing around in the mud. So I really need something to protect his clothing as well. And then I thought their men's selection was quite amazing. My husband usually gets higher up boots, but we decided to get 
try some that were lower for him. They're easier for him to just put on and go when he needs to do some shoveling or work in the wood shop or taking care of the animals and everything like that. They've just been so amazing already. I hope you enjoyed this little break and hearing about High C. I hope you go check out their website, see if there's some boots there for you or shoes that you might enjoy and need, especially during the springtime. Another really awesome thing you may wanna know is they have a 100 year lifetime warranty on their shoes, which I think is absolutely amazing. So definitely go check out High C if you are in need of some incredible and adorable footwear. And now let's get back to the tour. Now let's take a look at this mudroom. We actually added this space on when we realized we needed it desperately. We needed more storage, so my husband built these custom cabinets to run along the walls in the mudroom and we needed a space for the dog to get in and out, and we needed a space for shoes. So we really, you know, are, this is a huge learning curve for us in designing a home by ourselves, but we, ended, we had a big wraparound porch where we ended up closing off the side porch and instead building this mudroom and office combo, which has been really, really nice. But um, this mudroom space, uh, I didn't take the dog gate down, sorry about that. <laughs> but this is where we often put them away if there's company that doesn't like pets. But it's a very, very functional space for us and we love it with all the shoe cubbies and coat hangers and everything. It's rarely tidy, but it's very, very functional. So here is my office on the other side of the mudroom and you can find me in here a lot as I'm working away, creating content for you guys. But we did a Harlequin black and white marble flooring. Now some people call it a checkerboard flooring, but it's when you actually install checkerboard tiles at an angle, it's called Harlequin. And I have an entire series about this kind of flooring where you can get it, inspiration, all sorts of blog posts and videos all about checkerboard flooring, which you may really enjoy, but I love this flooring so much and it just makes this office and mudroom space so interesting. Now my husband built all the cabinets. We got marble remnants for the countertops. He built these cool open shelves where we have a ton of office storage and um, we, just, we just love these spaces and are so glad that we added them on. All right, let's take you down the hallway where the bedrooms and bathrooms are. This isn't a big home. It is, I think, just barely 2,400 square feet, which is not small, but it's not huge either. One level, there's no basement or upstairs, but in this hall, we have a hall closet, our laundry room, the bedrooms, and I'll show you the hall closet first. It's not the prettiest space, but I wanna show you how useful it is. So we have these 12 foot ceilings and we decided in the closet spaces to go all the way up. We needed all the storage we can get and I have this really lightweight ladder that we just move around when needed. Um, you can see here on the wall, this is where we measure the kids as they grow. That <laughs> is super precious to me and um, just a fun memory. But this closet holds all sorts of things, games, photo albums, sleeping bags, all sorts of stuff. It's just really useful to have this closet hallway. And storage is really important um, when you don't have a basement. So the laundry room is definitely a high functioning space. This was the very first room we revealed when I had a sponsorship with Home Depot for this washer and dryer, which by the way, we still absolutely love. I love the rose gold color, it's so pretty. But anyway, we decided to do stacking washer and dryers so that I could get some more countertop space in here and just make the most of it. And then we have a lot of storage closets for like coats when they're out of season, cleaning supplies, cosmetics, all sorts of stuff gets stored in here. So it's not always beautiful and tidy, but it's extremely useful. And I don't know what I would do without this space. All right, let me take you into the primary bedroom. This bed is one that we made when I was really inspired by the slip covered beds. I love linen, so this just felt soft and um, we love this bed. We have actually the building plans for this bed if you ever feel like you want one like that because to buy them is really expensive, but you can build one for a lot cheaper. Anyway, we have these really cool old doors that I found at a vintage market and we love using them here for the closet doors. And um, it's a really simple room, honestly, just a couple of antique bedside tables and some pretty bedding 
and it's just a cozy space where we can retreat and relax and we love it. Adjoining with the primary bedroom is the primary bathroom. I love this space. We just doused it in marble, which is one of my favorite materials to use. I love the elegance of marble and that it is just so timeless. I just think this could be here forever and it would always be in style. So this was a cool like bar stand that I bought at an estate sale and then we converted it to a vanity with a marble top and a vessel sink. I love it so much. I do sometimes wish I had drawers in the bathroom but we make it work with little caddies and baskets in there but I just love it. This little art here is something my mother-in-law made me this past Christmas and I love it so much. But again, for like a very basic rectangle shape of a bathroom, we tried to add as much detail and interest in there as possible with lots of brass hardware and marble and textured linens. And that's pretty much all a girl needs <laughs> to feel special every morning when she gets ready. Okay, now it's time to enter into the kids' bedrooms. I think this one's my favorite space, you guys. I love the pretty pink colored walls with this like gray undertone. It's the most beautiful pink. If you love it, definitely check out my blog post for all the details in this space. But this one was really fun for me to create because I love that cottage core style so much. And so does this particular daughter of mine. So we had a lot of fun just working on every little detail in this space from the rug to the pretty canopy that surrounds her antique bed to the beautiful Rachel Ashwell linen bedding and the light fixtures. It was just fun to bring in all the Anne of Green Gable vibes we could possibly muster and put them together in this cute cottage core bedroom. This girl is a lover of all things horses pink ballet, <laughs> about as girly as they come. And I had so much fun just looking for little treasures for her to add to her room that she loves. And then of course I give her some leeway to decorate how she wants up, up on the mantle and where she wants to put things. So it's really fun to see what she does. But her personality comes out loud and clear in this room. And I just think that is so much fun. Mm. And I'll have to admit, it's not the tidiest right now. We have some clutter issues going on, but I still wanted to show you and include it in this home tour because I think it's really inspiring and just super adorable. Now for the kids' bathroom, we designed a split bathroom so that they could have the restroom and shower area enclosed in one section and then a lot of vanity space and storage for those who need to get ready or get ready for bed or whatever they may need <laughs> to use a sink and a mirror for. So it's really nice to have this split bathroom. Highly recommend it. And it works great even though four kids are sharing it. So I'm really, really glad that we did that. And I have to remind you, we did change out a few things in this bathroom because it was also one of the first spaces we finished in the home since we needed a bathroom ASAP when we moved in. So I made some kind of bad design decisions that we later regretted, the flooring being one of them. And so we did change the flooring and paint and some things eventually. And so you can see the original in my archives and then the updated space as well, but it's just perfect now. I love it so much. All right, into the kids' bedrooms where my little guy and little girl share. Of course, they're growing up way too fast, so we may need to revamp the situation <laughs> not too far into the future, but this cute like picnic themed bedroom is just adorable and just fits their personalities so good. And I had so much fun putting this room together with the idea of a picnic in my mind. So we got blue duvets to represent fluffy clouds and lots of gingham, you know, to represent a picnic blanket <laughs> and a big green rug to feel like green grass and anyway it's just the funnest room that just is inspired by nature and even though they have lots of little collections and toys and things everywhere it's still just the sweetest little space and i just i just love it so i hope you enjoy it as well all right here we are at the final bedroom in the home and this is my 17 year old daughter's bedroom and she loves the color scheme of black, red, and white. And this was a design challenge for me. If you saw the reveal of this space, you know that. <laughs> but um, 
She's also a crazy plant lady, so we have adapted it and made sure she's had room for all of her plant babies. And we put these cool floating shelves up on the wall where she nurtures all sorts of plants. And so it's really fun that, again, you can just see her personality in this room with everything that she loves. And um, it's just a really cool space and it was super fun to involve her in little things and then see what she adds to the room to make it her own but and I don't know if it's that she's just getting older and the impending doom of her growing up and leaving this house is just hurting my mama heart but I love this room I love the space I love this girl so much and it was super fun to just make her a place in the home that feels like her and I've just really enjoyed that process well, that wraps up this full pole barn home tour. I hope you enjoyed it and left with several ideas and inspiration. And again, if you want more, definitely check out my blog post. On my blog post, I'm giving you really wide angle shots of each space so you can soak it in. But also I'm including written details about the design ideas that um, that you can kind of take away and package up and enjoy that way. So if you like the written word and want to sit a little bit longer with me, head over to tidbitsandcompany.com and check out the blog post for this full home tour. Thank you for joining me. I will be back very soon to share more inspiration for the keeper of the home. Mm -hmm.